What's up guys, Android21 here, coming at you live, well, not really live, but you get the idea. Anyway, this is a brand new Tech Talk where we'll be going over the Set 3 Cross Realms reveal so far. So far we only have the rares, commons, and uncommons of the black cards in the set, and which does include a couple of the leaders. Now, we don't know the contents from the starter decks yet so those will go be done at a later date but let's just get right into this because this is these are pretty exciting um if you do see me taking a drink or something it's just a little bit of apple juice um uh, my throat's just a little sore but uh yeah so first off we have mira as a leader and he happens to be an android so, cell package anyone? Yeah. But, what he does himself is that he has an auto, when this card attacks, place the top two cards of your deck in the drop area. Then if, the, if a green or yellow card is in your drop area, draw one card. Hmm. I think I had an idea for a, a green-yellow deck before this card came out. Might have to get in on that one. And then he has the standard awaken the four less. But you don't draw two. You choose one card from your warp and add it to your hand. Which is a nice little change. Then his back the backside of it has the permanent. If the, your warp has five cards or more in it, this card gains critical. So he's taking the play from Vegeta's handbook. And do, doing critical. You could say he's the prince of critical. Because we all know Vegeta's the king. But he also has at the main once per turn. Place up the two cards from your deck. From the top of your deck in the drop area. And then when this card attacks. Draw one card. I actually like Dark Warrior Mira. I really do. Because he promotes... The, the green-yellow cell build I was working on before, which was going to be presented in a later build, or a later date. And, yeah, I, I actually really like this card. But moving forward, we have one other leader we're going to go over, which is Trunks. When this card attacks, place the top two cards of your deck in the drop area. Then, if there's a red or blue, draw one card. So... Similar auto on the front side to Mira. And standard similar awakening as well because for or less you choose one card in your warp and add it to your hand. Then flip it over. And when we flip it over we get Super Saiyan Trunks Protector of Time. Who has the active main once per turn place up the two cards from the top of your deck in, in the drop area. So again, similar to Mira. But here's where it comes different. His auto is when he attacks, you draw one card. Then, you may choose five cards in your drop area and send them to your warp. If you do, this card gains 5k power and double strike. Holy crap, this card's good. But yeah, so that's our two black leaders that we're getting. And moving forward, we got some... Couple battle cards. We've got Awakened Warrior Bardock. Which, the name alone. So he's considered, his character is considered Bardock Zeno. Or Zeno, or whatever you want to pronounce it. He's got Overrealm 4. And then if you play it using Overrealm, it gets Double Strike for the turn. So it's not bad. You play it for free, you get a free Double Striker. Moving forward, we have Unrelenting Assault Trunks. Now, this card is amazing. This card gives purpose to the Kai promo that we got in the Dark Demons expansion. Because, first of all, it has Overwhelm 3. So, yeah, it's a free draft when you, if, when you Overwhelm it. On top of that, when this card is sent from your battle area or deck to the warp, Add it to your hand instead. So you can literally, Supreme Kai, search out this Trunks. 
and instead of sending it through warp and having to wait a turn, add it straight to your hand. You can overwhelm it. At the end of the turn, when it would go sent to the warp, add it to your hand. There's a lot of combos you can do with this card, and it's pretty good. Next up, we have a new super combo card. So this is the thing. Okay, before I get into the card, I want to address this whole super combo thing. The 10k pumps, as we used to know them, the Piccolo, the Trunks, the Doria, and the Vados, they've all been errated. Well, we, well, we'll be receiving errated when set three drops. To all had this new keyword super combo right here. And I don't mind that, don't get me wrong, but the fact that we're getting more super combo cards and the fact that you can only have four cards with super combo in your deck almost means that they're trying to make it so that the old super combos aren't staples for deck building. And I'm not sure how I feel about that, personally. But... This card in itself is amazing because when you combo with this card, if there are five more cards in your warp, draw a card and gain 10k combo power. So instead of having to be at four or less likes, you can use it when you're at like say six or eight. The only prerequisite is that you be have five or more cards in your warp. It doesn't even specify a cutter of leader. So you can literally throw this at any deck, as long as you're running overround cards. But moving forward, now this is one of my personal favorites that we're getting. Toa Reprogram Menace. Okay, there we go. Xeno Evolve for 4 Toa. Now, I know I haven't gone over what Xeno Evolve is. It's a new mechanic coming in set 3. Where... You evolve something on your battle area by sending it to the warp and then playing the, the evolve the Zeno Evolve card. And it still has to have the same prerequisites as normal evolve. So, as you can see, this one's uh, Zeno Evolve, 4 energy, Toa. Now, this one I really like because of its auto. When a card evolves into this card, choose up to one of your bonus battle cards with an energy cost of 6 or less, switch it to active mode, and gain control of it. You know what else does that? Except for a smaller energy cost? The promo Toa. Yeah. You know what that promo Toa has? Over Realm. That costs no energy. So, yeah. Overrealm Toa, the promo, steal 2 cost or less, Zeno Evolve for 4, steal 6 drop or less. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. It's trolly, but I like it. <laughs> anyway, moving forward, we have one more Toa in this set called Toa Space Time Unleashed, which is when you play this card, look at up to 7 cards from the top of the deck. Choose a mirror or mass saying among them and add it to your hand. So, it's a one drop searcher. It's a one drop bomber for black. Not bad. I like it. Next, we have Relentless Destruction Mirror. Who has Overwhelm 3. And when you play it using Overwhelm, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and drop places in the drop area. This is something I can see being run a lot in hand destruction decks. So, like, such as Vegeta hand destruction. Broly's a big one. Broly actually gets a huge boost in set 3. But I was talking about that stuff it gets where I cover the green cards. But, yeah. I, d I like this card in hand destruction. Anything else? Not so much. But, anyway. Next up, we push we only have new copies of the twins. Shun Shun Protector Majin. It's got blocker. When you play this card, place up the two cards on the top of your deck in the drop area. 
pretty standard for the Twins at this point. And then when this card is attacked, if your opponent's leader card is red or blue, it gains 15k power. If your opponent's leader card is red or blue. So, the Twins from set 3, I feel are going to be more side deck cards. Because they rely on your opponent having a specific kind of leader. And this one's not bad. A 30k blocker if your opponent is running red or blue. That's pretty damn good. And then Haru Haru Attacker Majin. Has critical. All the time. And then the same auto where you play. You drop two from the top of your deck. But the reason I say that these guys are going to be more side deck. It's because this one needs green and yellow for his third auto. And that's it. You should choose up to four your energy and switch them to active mode when you play it. Which is not bad. I like it. It's good. Moving on to the extra cards that we're getting. We have Dark Plot. You choose up to one card in your warp with an energy cost of four or less. And play it. If you use the skill to play a battle card with Overwhelm. Choose up the three of your energy and switch them to active. That's actually pretty good. You get a four cost or less, and you choose something with overwhelm. You untap three of your energy, so effectively making this a one cost. And then the last battle card that we that we're getting is Times Judgment. This is the new Black Negate card that we're getting. Which is, negate the attack, then you may place two cards from your hand in your drop area. If you do so, add this card back to your hand. Yeah. That's gonna be a thing. The dropping two cards from your hand to bring it back is gonna be a bit costly, I think, in the long run. But I can see some people running it. Just to have that extra negate in the deck, other than Whis, or other than Vados, or other than uh, Full Power Energy. So, it, it definitely does have its uses, I don't get me wrong. But I don't think it's going to be see as much play as Whis or Full Power Energy. Those are the two big ones I see right now. But uh, yeah, that's everything we know for set 3 at the moment. So that was all the black... Uh, comments on comments and rares. We don't know when we're getting the super rares yet. Um, we're getting two more colors on the 9th and the other two colors on the 14th. So when those two sets, when those two lists come out, I'll make two videos um, covering those as well. But until then, guys, Android 21, signing off.